You know what? It's only when you're at somewhere like IWM Duxford and you've got all these aircraft laid out that you realise that in a hundred years of RAF history, there were just so many amazing, beautiful, stunning, iconic aircraft. But look at this. This is absolutely one of my all-time favourites. The de Havilland Mosquito, the Wooden Wonder, or better known as simply the Mozzie. I mean, this was an awesome aircraft, largely made out of wood, incredibly, powered by two Rolls-Royce Merlin engines, the same that power the Spitfire and the Hurricane, um, and indeed the Lancaster. But this thing could fly at over 400 miles an hour. It could operate at nearly 40,000 feet. There was simply no German plane when it first came in, in 1941, that could catch it. Uh, and it had so many different roles. It was a night fighter, it was a reconnaissance aircraft, it was a light bomber. And in actual fact, I know someone who flew this on bombing raids to Berlin. And what he used to do on the way back was he used to catnap. He basically had his, uh, his navigator and say, look, I'm just going to nod off a little bit. He'd set all the trim and say, you know, if anything happens, give me a nudge and I'll wake up. But can you imagine it flying back from Berlin and having going for a little kip on the way back? But I love this aircraft. It's just a thing of wonder and beauty. Isn't the Mosquito just amazing? I mean, what's so brilliant about this plane was just how versatile it was. This one isn't armed, but other versions were absolutely bristling with cannons and machine guns and bombs and rockets and all sorts of firepower. I mean, really quite incredible. And this was the aircraft, above all, that made Hermann Goering, the commander-in-chief of the Luftwaffe, really, really jealous. He wanted one of these, but he couldn't have one.